Have you ever truly thought about what happens if all of your social media accounts just disappeared overnight? How would you continue to keep running your business? How would you continue to keep putting food on the table for your family and friends? And most importantly, how could you grow as a company, creator, or business owner? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you the one tool that you can rely on no matter what social media accounts are popular, and it is gonna revolutionize the way you work and how you grow your business in 2023. This method of marketing has been around for so many years it is incredible that people still overestimate or underestimate the power of this revolutionary marketing tool. And that is simply email marketing. Yes, I'm talking about email, the thousands of emails that come up into your inbox every single day that create stress and anxiety because that number on your phone gets higher and higher and higher. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can actually utilize this tool for your business. So let's get started with the basics. What even is email marketing? Well, email marketing is a traditional way that you can promote your products and services to a direct consumer population. So normally you would have an email list and that list can grow by the way of your website, your social medias, your products and services, word of mouth, referrals, and so forth. It is a very direct way of marketing, but the revolutionary way that you can introduce this into your, into your ecosystem is simply by doing the following steps. So let's get started with the basics. What is email marketing? Well, simply put, it's an easy way to promote your services and products to a specific or targeted group of people. And when done effectively, when creating high engaging content and speaking in the layman terms to your audience, it is an effective way to promote your products and services. The first step in email marketing is creating something called a list, which is simply a group of people in one specific area. And how you can actually generate this list is just putting an opt-in page on your website like or a pop-up on your website. As soon as someone lands on their website, they can put their email address in exchange for a free resource or free something rather that associates itself with your brand. Another way to do this is simply just ask for an email address on your checkout page if you're an e-commerce site or if you want to play the easy game is simply run a lead generating campaign via Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. But the one most important thing you need to remember is it's quality over quantity. It's much more effective to have a smaller list that's higher engaging than a larger list and hardly anyone opens your emails. Once you have that list, it's now time to start sending emails to that list. And you can do this in three different ways. The first one is simply just sending an announcement when a product or service is live or a product or service is about to come live on your website or your coaching services, for example. The second one is when you've got a product or service at a discounted rate. It could be a Black Friday, it could be a Boxing Day, or it could be a Christmas special. Third and finally, it can be a newsletter. This newsletter can be a culmination of a whole month's worth of data within your industry. And most importantly, it can highlight the value that you're offering your clients or offering your subscribers or offering via your product or service based business. The one thing you need to make sure though when you're sending emails is that it's easily digested from the reader, it creates high value and it's high engaging. It's super valuable to focus on these three areas. It's gonna increase your click through rate, it's gonna increase your open rate and it's gonna increase the accountability that those readers are gonna have when your email drops in to an email box that is full with thousands of other competitors. Now that you've focused on building your email list and curating that amazing email, you're kind of stuck with how am I supposed to send this to all my subscribers? Now there's something called an email marketing tool or something called a CRM, which is a customer relationship management system. And there's so many out there. There's MailChimp, there's iContact, and one of our favorites called Active Campaign. And the reason why we love Active Campaign over the others, which we've actually used over the years, is that it's just reliable time and time again. It's used by all of our agency clients, it's used within our own agency, and most importantly, it's used with hundreds of thousands of others around the world. And here are three little benefits of why I think you should probably at least try out Active Campaign for yourself or your business. The first one are their automations. Now this automation is simply a way that you can get someone's email address and put them into different campaigns based on how they wanna interact within your business. For example, let's say someone signs up to a newsletter and you've done 15 before. You wanna make sure that they get all of that valuable content as well, which you can set up via active campaign automation. Or let's say for example, someone's just bought your product. Now they get a confirmation email, but maybe you want to send a confirmation text as well. You can do that all within ActiveCampaign. 
It's such a revolutionary way to digitize your email marketing system and keep up with the current trends in 2023. So be sure to at least check out one of those. So lastly, it's important to actually measure the success of your email campaigns. You don't want to be ending up sending hundreds of emails to understand that only 2% of your list is only opening them. You want to make sure you're focusing in three different categories. Something called a CTR, which is a click-through rate. You want to be focusing on an open rate. And you want to be focusing in obviously especially if you're an e-commerce brand a conversion rate so for example are those abandoned cart emails you're sending via active campaign converting are those sms text message campaigns via active campaign are they converting but most importantly you can find this in something called a reports tab now we can show you on screen right now what it looks like an active campaign but you can do this on pretty much any other platform, or at least we hope you can do this on any other platform. It should be the bare minimum. And the reason being is that just like how you do your finances every month, you should actually do the same for your email marketing campaigns. If you understand what list is working the best and how you can optimize your emails going forward, it's gonna revolutionize the way you can actually focus on that data that you're not converting. We as business owners tend to focus on what's going right, not what's going wrong. However, with these kind of data heavy campaigns, you can focus on what email campaigns are resonating with your audience. And there you have it, a really basic way to focus on how you can revolutionize your email marketing for your business or your brand in 2023. Remember, email marketing is all about building relationships with your audience and building trust within your niche. And it's such a simple way to go that one step further than another brand that you might be competing with and how you can build a really strong relationship with the everyday user of your product or service or the everyday buyer of your e-commerce brand or product. So I hope you did learn something. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. We release YouTube videos every single week in different areas within business and marketing. And I really hope in 2023, you can revolutionize the way you email market and most importantly, build relationships with your audience.